Okay, no matter, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video. Infamous coming at you live from the West Coast yet again, San Jose, California. So let's get into the new recall. Another recall from Harley Davidson in 2023. So we do have this recall is specifically for the CVO models. You guys saw the last recall was for soft tails with the model shock, the Milwaukee 8 soft tails. Uh, with the internal shock adjuster. So this one is for the CVOs, like I said. Now, when I heard about this, NorCal reached out to me and he sent me the article. And my first thought was, hey, they did recently do, uh, they actually did a stoppage of the CVOs production because of uh, brake line issues. Or not issues, but brake line uh, shortages or uh, something about uh, a lack of uh, supplies or something like that. You guys remember they shut down for two weeks and then previous, uh, before that shutdown, they shut down for an additional, I believe, uh, three weeks or four weeks. And I believe they were both related to the supplier, uh, the brake line supplier. And I thought somehow that was related. But after looking at the article, it looks like, sorry about the rambling, it looks like uh, it's about uh, the retainer clips for the rear brake line, I guess. Somehow, uh, there isn't sufficient amount of, of brake line uh, retaining clips. And I guess that rear brake line could potentially touch your exhaust. Now, there isn't anything about aftermarket or modified exhaust. It looks like it probably touches or there's, there's contact between the brake line and your stock exhaust. I guess that's what it is. So, potentially over the years, uh, from reading the article, I guess it's not so much the expansion and the heat of the fluid but much more as far as the line potentially uh, losing strength and probably collapsing due to the uh, the heat of the exhaust so here's the, uh, the the two models obviously that are being affected by this recall you have the street glide and the road glide and both of these are fifty thousand dollar bikes which is you know quite a lot and you know, Harley, they, they have a tendency of using the public as their R&D department, all right? You guys saw what happened with the 2017 M8s, and uh, you guys saw what happened with the uh, the Dyna Death Wapple. They haven't addressed those issues, but of course, we saw the recall for the uh, for the fastener on the uh, M8 Softail. But, uh, so here's the other recall. Enough rambling. I'm not going to get into a rant. Uh, Harley has yet to fix the 2017 to 2019 M8 fuel pumps. They should, they should fix. They should address the the sumping on those bikes, but they they're, they're not going to. All right, so we can see right here. Of course, you guys can read the article yourself. Uh, contact between the brake line and the exhaust could, over time, lead to a hole in the brake line and loss of rear brake fluid. Now, I mean, it's not the front brake. I guess you could. I mean, a lot of people don't even use they don't even use the rear brake i use my rear brake all the time because i tend to i tend to ride with one hand so you guys can leave it in the comments do you even guys use do you guys even use the rear brake on your bike on your harley how many of you guys use proper braking when you're using of course you're, you're supposed to use both both uh, uh both your front and your rear brake but like i said a lot of folks don't even use the rear brake uh so I guess so far they've sold uh, 2,212 units, which is pretty good, considering it's a $50,000 bike. Uh, here, let's see real quick. Since the recall shows 1,282 units and 930 units uh, of the dual affected, we're looking at okay. So I guess, I guess they sold 1,282 street glides and 930 road glides. Is that what that means? We're looking uh, at 2,212 recalled machines, which is about 1% of the to total population. I'm not sure. 1% uh, of the total population. Is that as for, like the lineup? As always, if you know somebody in possession of a 20, 2023 Rogue Glide Street Glide, be sure to inform them of the recall. Uh, the company will be contacting everybody between October 16th and the 20th, two days from now. So I guess I'm doing my due diligence on letting you guys know, hey, if you have a CVO, probably visit your uh, your local dealer and see if they have these new clips, these these new retaining clips for your rear swing arm. And here's some contact information 
uh, for Harley, I guess, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Vehicle Safety Hotline. So you could contact them or wait for your letter that are, uh, should be, you should be receiving it, I guess, early next week. So let me just show you guys an image of what I believe the fix is going to be. Now, if you look at your rear swing arm, you will see these, uh, these little clips. Now it's not on the, uh, all right. So anyways, uh, yes. So you have these retaining clips of, on the Harleys. It's not on the top or is it? I believe it's on the side right here. But anyways, it doesn't matter. This is a different bike. I'm just showing you guys, I guess, what could be the fix. They could either tap into your swing arm. Probably, I'm not entirely sure. I guess once we start seeing people get this repair done, maybe I'll see it on, on, on the Facebook group. But they might be doing this. Uh, or they could, I guess, somehow, uh, you know, I, I guess the proper way to do it is to tap into your swing arm and add another retaining clip. They could also, I guess, probably connect something with, uh, with, with the, I, I guess, with the, with the wheel or the brake linkage. Maybe have a, like an adapter, so they don't have to drill into your swing arm, or maybe have uh, replace one of these single retainer clips, uh, like you guys are seeing in the image. I'm pointing at the monitor, so they could take uh, one of those fittings instead of having a single one. They could turn them into two dual clips i'm not really sure how they're going to be doing it but i'm almost certain they're going to just add a, a, a few more uh, retaining clips or maybe they'll just uh, make it a little bit tighter i'm not entirely sure how they, how they plan on doing it but uh the way i see a quick easy fix would be this method okay so you guys can let me know in the comments what do you guys think are you guys worried about uh about your fifty thousand dollar bike having rear brake issues i don't know you guys let me know in the comments we'll see how this new you know this new system the vvt is going to work out there's some concerns there as well but uh if harley can stay on top of their their bikes like they've been doing i guess as of late with the uh, the soft tail fastener fix and then now this uh this retaining clip brake line issue I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. Are you guys still, you know, happy about your purchase? I think I would still be happy if I had purchased the the Street Glide. The Street Glide, absolutely amazing looking bike. I'd be really happy with this bike, uh, even if there is a minor recall like the the rear brake. So you guys stay out there, stay safe. Life's risk. Get out there and ride. Later. <laughs>